hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to see how we can build few charts which are not available into charts gallery of power apps for example if i search for charts you will find that we have column chart line chart pie chart but what if like i wish to create some other set of charts so how we can create those charts and what adjustment we can do to create those charts for example i've created this horizontal stack chart which is showing the progress of something like this and this vertical stack chart like this and i have this donut chart as well which shows the data like this so i wish to create these three set of charts which are not available into my power apps control calorie kit so how i am going to create that i am going to show you today so for this we are going to create one new app let's just go to wake.powerapps.com and we'll start from one new app and we have one of the SharePoint lists which shows the training stats of the employees. So this list we are going to use as data source to show the data. So let's create first of all one power app. So I'll start with page with design as blank and we'll start adding of one gallery. So I'll just click on insert. We'll search for gallery and I'll just choose this blank flexible height gallery. And inside this gallery, I'll click on this, add an item, I'll click on insert and we'll try to find the container. And this container will add one control as rectangle so that we can use that as a bar of our horizontal stack chart. So I'll click on this rectangle and now I'll adjust the height of my gallery. I'll select gallery. First of all, I'll increase the height so that I can see and over here I will adjust the height of my this container so that it can be adjusted too. So I have a bit of depiction with my this Calrian container that is a horizontal stack chart. So I have added one rectangle I will just stretch that to the whole width of my container and I will color this as a light blue so that we can see it's a not filled or some other rectangle so that we can superimpose one more rectangle on top of it so i'll just select container again and i'll add one more rectangle and this rectangle will be superimposed on my existing rectangle to show that that something is filling up so for example this is my actual data and this is the threshold data which should be coming overlapping on this triangle so now i have to make it work with the dynamic data so i'll just add one label text to my container so that i can use this text as a data so i'll just keep this to the down and let's say i'll just say that 85 percent and we are going to make it dynamic going forward with connecting our SharePoint list. Right now, I'm just putting that so that we can see how the uh, this tag chart would work. So, 85 is the label text, hard coded label text. Now, I'll select my rectangle, which should be filled up, which should be dynamic based on the label value. So, I'll just select this one and I'll go to the width of this rectangle and over here I'll just fetch the value of my label one dot next and I'll multiply that to my width of my existing the initial triangle which is grayed out one this light blue color so I'll just say rectangle one dot width so it will fill in the width of my this superimposing rectangle which is filled rectangle to show this one and you can reduce the rectangle height to give it give you more space so that your more uh, bars can come up so you can make those adjustment based on your requirement so this is how this rectangle one is created now i'll just connect my data source and i told you this data source would be my employee name minimum training hours required hours completed how much hours they have actually completed 
and the percentage of completion is a calculated share point column so if i click on this list settings i created this calculated column as percentage so that the percentage calculation can happen within the column itself so it's actually hours completed divided by minimum hours multiplied by 100 and then i am appending this percentage to my this calculated percentage column so that it can show like 90 percent 80 percent and this list we are going to connect with our gallery so i'll just select my gallery again and i'll first of all i have to add my sharepoint site as data source we'll choose the sharepoint connection search for our sharepoint site which is this spfx site and we'll choose my list training stats so once this data source is added i'll just select as training stats and over here i'll go back to my label and in this label value i'll pick this label value from my this item which is a selected item into gallery and percentage so now you see like i have this dynamic data being calculated i'll just increase height of my gallery so that everything can come up so i have these four or five bars and i want to show this the data is for which person so i'll just add one more label text to my container and this label text will show the name of employee for which we are showing this data so i'll just increase a bit of height and we'll bind this label to the this item dot title so that we can show the person's name so over here it will show like this so this is a for example stack chart which we have created with a dynamic width and same way i can insert one more gallery and this time i will choose this blank horizontal gallery and i'll just drag this one to the side so that we can have more space and i will add item insert from insert pin that is again i'll add one more container and in this container we'll add again one rectangle the same way we did for our horizontal one so this is vertical item so i'll just adjust the height for my container so that i can have the other bar chart so i can reduce this rectangle width so that it can fit in properly for the data like this and i'll increase the height of my container so that it can take the height of my entire gallery to show and i'll increase the height of my rectangle to fit into the container as well so right now i have added this rectangle as a bar column and now we'll add one more rectangle i'll just change the color of this rectangle so that it can be used as light pink and i'll add one more rectangle with dark red color this one i'll adjust the height and width again to this existing rectangle and i'll just have the color as dark red for this one and now we will start adding the or doing adjustment to the height so i'll just select this existing red rectangle and we'll go to the height this time so earlier for this horizontal one we did for width this time we are going to do this for height and for that we want to have one more label which can drive or we can use the same label which we were using this horizontal for the horizontal chart so i'll just use the same label i'll select my red rectangle and we'll say height of this should be value of my label one dot text and this time we'll be multiplying with the 
rectangle 3 height so now you see I, it's it has adjusted the height for this one so right now this is taking the label one dot text which is 90% uh, because it's take the label text value of 1 it's not connected to gallery so we need to just select our this gallery and set that data source to trans training stat so that we can add one more label I'll just add one more text label to this container and then we will bind that value from our training stats list I'll just align it and we'll set this text to this item dot percentage and we'll use this percentage to tie up our height for this rectangle four size select the height which we set up and we'll tie this label this is label four as in value so right now it's inverse if you see it has to be starting from the zero y so we have to position set the position of our y and y axis that is over here and for this what you can do you can just go to your height again copy this entire formula and again check for y property and simply say that rectangle the previous rectangle height 3 dot height minus the calculation which we did earlier and right now you see like uh, they still having gap because the bar chart height should be adjusted to the container so i can just increase this part chart height and adjust that height to the till the level of container so now it's depicting the right data which is 90 percent of this training is filled and you can very well again set this text for the text title name over there so this is how you can quickly create this vertical uh, stack chart as well with the rectangles and I'll just show you I'll just create one more screen and we'll just show you how to create the donut chart very quickly blank screen and we'll take help of the existing chart controls and that is of pie chart and I'll just fit this to the width and we'll connect this pie chart to our existing data source training stats and in this one right now it's item is showing so I have to set the label label we can set that to percentage so it will show the percentage over there or you can label set that as to title if you wish to show the people name so right now it's a pie chart to convert that into do uh, donut chart it's very easy you have to just go to this circle drag that circle on top of this chart stretch it up whatever size you wish to have and give it a then lately give it a transparent or white color i just go to properties of my circle and change the color to white so that it can start look like a donut you can adjust it So this is how it will look like a donut chart so with this tips and tricks you can quickly create the additional charts which are not available into the charts gallery of power apps you can create your horizontal stack charts as i explained to you you can create your donut chart as well so that is it for today's video i just wanted to let you know that these additional chart can be created we can create three stack chart as well instead of two rectangles we have to put one more rectangle and adjust the height of that rectangle starting uh, y or x point to the height of uh, the percentage or the other number you wish to have so you can very well create those so thank you